This is a manual muscle test for scapulothoracic abduction and upward rotation. We're testing strength of the serratus anterior. So we're gonna use the arm, or flexing the shoulder, or you can even move the shoulder in the scapular plane to create upward rotation and abduction of the scapula. So we can passively move through that range. I'm monitoring movement of the scapula. Now you're gonna go through that range. So again, I can visually and uh, through palpation monitor movement of the scapula to make sure it is in fact AB, actively abducting and upwardly rotating. Our test position is we're gonna flex, or again, you'll see some variations where the shoulder is in the scapular plane. Uh, we're gonna flex the, the shoulder. My force application is gonna be primarily through my left hand on the lateral border of the scapula. So by pushing in this direction, pushing medially, I'm creating a deduction and downward rotation of the scapula, which is opposite muscle action. So most of my force is here. I can also apply some force through my right hand that does uh, break our rule or our concept of crossing distal joints, but I can use my right hand just to create a little bit more leverage to break her scapula into a deduction and downward rotation. One uh, precaution is we just have to make sure that she's not breaking at the glenohumeral joint itself. So I'm gonna have you hold onto the table with your left hand for stability. Hold it right there, hold, hold, hold. So my left hand is not only applying force, but I'm also monitoring visually, but like I said, also palpating and feeling for when the scapula starts to move uh, or break from the test position.